A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. What woman having ten coins and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. Who are you? You might say you are the woman. You might say you are the coin. Who is God here? I would like to return to the question, who are you? And I will answer it with wrong answers. The first answer is, I am not my money. You are not your money. You are not your possessions. You are not your land titles. You are not your cars. Because you are something greater than all of these. You may be a coin with a cost, with a price attached to it. But you are not just a coin. You are not your money. You are not your possessions. Second, you are not your work. Work does not give us identity because there is something greater than our work. The minister is more important than the ministry. The worker is more important than the work. Work does not give you identity. You're a doctor, you're a teacher, you're a business person. All of these are works, but for how long? You cannot work for eternity as a teacher, as a doctor, or as a business person. Third, you are not what other people say. You are not your popularity. You are not what the surveys show. You are not the likes on Facebook. You are not your bashers on Facebook. You are not your popularity. You are not what other people say. Fourth, you are not your mistakes. No matter what mistakes you may have done, no matter what mortal, grievous sins you have committed, you are not your mistakes. Our hope is in the Lord, and the mercy of God is greater than your mistakes. Fifth, you are not your achievements. You are not your successes. You are not your medals. You are not your trophies. You are not the recognitions you receive. You are not what the front page says. You are not that. So you are not your money. You are not the coin. You are not your work. You are not what other people say. You are not your mistakes. You are not your sins. You are not your achievements. Who are you? I have no, question. I have no answer to the question. But I have a better question. To whom do you belong? And the answer is, I belong to God. Do not allow money to possess you because money is a very treacherous Lord. Do not allow your work to possess you because when you retire, when you get sick, somebody will take your job right away and you will not be missed. You are not your popularity. The Miss Universe this year will not be Miss Universe next year. The valedictorian, the summa cum laude this year, will not be valedictorian summa cum laude next year. You are greater than this. You are not your mistakes because God's mercy is greater. You are not your achievements because your achievements would not have been achieved without the Lord. To whom do you belong? Whose are you? And the answer is, I belong to God. But that is only half the good news. I will narrate a story in the life of Santa Teresa de Jesus. When she was so downtrodden, so disappointed, so hurt by the opposition she was receiving from church authorities, the Lord appeared to her 
disguised as a boy in the convent. She was surprised to find the boy in the monastery because they were not living in an orphanage. So Teresa greeted the boy walking and running around in the convent and asked him, Good morning. My name is Teresa de Jesus. What is your name? And the boy answered, Good morning. My name is Jesus de Teresa. My name is Jesus of Teresa. Teresa said, I belong to Jesus. And Jesus said to Teresa, And I belong to you. And you belong to me. And in that exchange of belongingness, we find our happiness. To whom does the coin belong? To the woman who looked for it? To whom do you belong? To money? To work? To popularity? To mistakes? No, you belong to God. And God says to you, in my love for you, I allow myself to belong to you. Let us celebrate this reality, this fact, this great truth. We belong to God and God has chosen to belong to all of us. And in that exchange of love and friendship, we find the joy that we are looking for. God bless you.